Hello guys! Kamusta kayong lahat at welcome back dito sa May Art Life. And for today's episode, excited na naman ako dahil may bago kong ipapakita sa inyong art material at ito siya. Ito ay ang water calligraphy paper. At tingnan muna natin yung packaging niya. And dito sa part na to may mga Japanese characters na hindi ko mabasa kung ano siya. At dito naman pinapakita kung paano ginagamit itong water calligraphy paper na to. Dito sa taas, ayan, nandyan yung logo ng Daiso dahil doon ko to nabili. So, murang-mura lang to And in here, yung um, pangalan ng product which is water calligraphy paper. And also, meron siyang instructions. Ang sabi dito, write with a brush, practice with water. Works without standard calligraphy paper or ink. So, ibig sabihin, tubig lang yung gagamitin natin and any kind of brush at gagana na siya. At ito naman, sabi, uh, three sheets included na. So, sulit na sulit niya. Alam niyo naman sa Daiso na it's just 88 pesos. Pero itong product na to, meron na siyang tatlong sheets. So, dito naman sa likurang part, i-appreciate din natin yung likod. Kasi tinignan din natin yung harap kanina. Yan, yung logo ng Daiso. At, opo, 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 teka muna. Daiso, Japan, made in China. Well, anyways, tara buksan na natin to. At tingnan na natin yung water calligraphy sheet. So, ito siya. At ito pa yung other two sheets. So, meron nga siyang tatlong sheet dito sa isang pack na to. Pero for today, gagamitin natin isa lang, of course. Just to try it out and for me to show you how it works. So, labas na natin yung water. At sabi nga doon kanina, no ink needed, just use water. So, ayan, gamit ang Chinese brush. I-load na natin siya ng water. And now I think we're ready. And let's get started. So first, iti-test ko lang kung ano ba talagang itsura nito. So I'm just making squiggly lines. And kung makikita nyo, yung part na nalagyan ng water, nagiging dark siya na. Akala mo meron talagang ink na ginamit. So amazing tong uh, calligraphy sheet na to. And let's try some more. Uh, this time naman, let's try some calligraphy using this uh, Chinese brush or mopit. So far naman, okay siya. Pero... Eh, hindi talaga ako masyadong sanay gumamit ng Chinese brush for calligraphy. Masyado kasing malambot yung bristle. Now, I've switched to a different brush. So, this time, water brush na itong ginagamit ko. And, eto kung makikita nyo, it looks much better since masanay akong gumamit ng water brush. And, at this time, kung mapapansin nyo, ang bilis mag-fade ng mga naunang letters na sinulat ko. Uh, this is because... Depende sa dami ng water na dinidispense ng brush, ganun sa katagal magsistay dun sa paper. So, tulad nitong uh, water brush, kontrolado yung water na nilalabas niya. So, mas madaling i-absorb ng paper, mas madaling natutuyo yung paper. Kaya, nag-fade kagad yung sinulat kong letter. And eto medyo nag-e-enjoy na ako. So, let's try some more calligraphy. And this time, let's do a different kind of calligraphy naman. So, again, the more water that the brush dispenses, mas matagal na nagsistay sa paper yung image or yung character na nilagay mo. Ako, in my opinion, sobrang enjoyable gamitin tong uh, calligraphy sheet na to kasi nga, hindi ka matatakot na merong nasasayang, hindi ka manghihinayan na paulit-ulit na magsulat at mag-practice kasi nga you're not using ink it's just water tapos you can use any type of brush that you want so wala ka nang kailangan special brush na bilhin para dito alright so now we're done with calligraphy and this time naman I wanna try something else so let's try illustration and in here gagawa lang ako ng simpleng illustration ng uh, ibon uh, I think ang tawag nila dito is parang one stroke technique yata yung sobrang simple lang siya na i-run down mo lang yung brush tapos mabubuo na yung image in the simplest form so yun yung ginagawa ko ngayon and uh, ang gusto kong ma-achieve dito is since nag-fade kagad yung image uh, kaya ko kayang habulin kaya ko kayang buuhin yung illustration before the whole image fades out Eh, mukhang epic fail. 
So let's try one more time. Ito naman, masisimplihan ko na. Baka this time, mahabol ko na yung mabuo yung buong image or yung buong illustration before mag-fade yung image. Okay, so this time cherry blossom tayo. Siguro naman mas madali na to dahil puro dot 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 lang siya tapos straight lines. Okay, mas simplihan pa natin. Ito, ito na, bamboo. Puro straight lines lang to. Tapos uh, lines para dun sa branches niya and then lines lang din ulit para dun sa down. So let's see kung mahabol na natin. Ito parang rin naglalaro eh. It, you're trying to catch up with the image na before siya mag-fade, kailangan mabuo mo yung illustration. So I really really think that this water calligraphy paper is a good way of practicing without the fear and the guilt na nangihinaya ka dahil nauubos yung ink mo, nauubos yung special paper mo just to practice and hindi pa yun yung final artwork na gusto mong gawin. Alright, and uh, as of this time, let's go ahead and let's do a rundown ng lahat ng observation natin. So, first is affordability, of course. Uh, this is from Daiso, so it's only 88 pesos. And next is you can save on materials, that is correct. Dahil nga, you're just gonna be using water and it can be used with any types of brush. So, wala kang kailangan bilin na special ink or special brush. You just use whatever you have and you're good to go. It can be reused. So aside from having three sheets na in one pack, you can use this water calligraphy paper over and over. Pero yun nga lang a word of advice, make sure na sobrang tuyo na siya before nyo gamitin ulit. Dahil um, kapag ginamit nyo siya ng sobrang basa na siya, most likely mapupunit na yung paper kahit medyo parang board siya or cardboard siya kakapal. And it's also great for practice. And that's correct then, kasi nga, di ba, it's worry-free. Wala kang kailangan alalahanin na may nasasayang na ink or specialty paper just to practice. You just do whatever and uh, write over and over until you get it and you're good with whatever it is you're trying to achieve. Whether it's illustration or calligraphy. And lastly, it improves your speed. At tulad nga nung larong ginawa ko kanina, I'm trying to complete the image before the whole thing fades away. So, para ka lang naglalaro, pero actually, you are improving your speed and your accuracy, especially with uh, calligraphy. You can also use this to practice illustration. Alright, so that's it for the Daiso Water Calligraphy Paper. And uh, ang bilis talaga na oras. Tapos na naman yung episode natin today. And I thank you so much guys for hanging out with me today. And I appreciate you, you lalo na yung mga nag-subscribe na. So if you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And also, huwag nyo kalimutan i-like yung video and share this to all of your friends na mahilig din sa art. Again guys, Thank you so much and take care. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.